Hey guys, welcome back to Man's Island. In today's video, I'll be making a simple toy using electromagnetism. So, in this video, the materials required are three wooden pieces, wire, some copper, mm, copper wire, uh, some copper wire which I just set into some, some hooks, coil, magnet, and a power supply. So I'm using an adapter here. So now I'm gonna start building this toy. So now I'm gonna start building this. So I'm gonna take these two wooden pieces and I'm gonna place them in this form. So you can see I made these two holes so it'll be easier. So now I'm gonna place them. So after placing them, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take the other piece and I'm gonna put this copper piece. So I bend this copper piece copper piece into a hook-like shape. So I'm just gonna put this copper wire through it. So for that I'm gonna place it here. So I made these two holes here. I don't know if you can see. I made these two holes so it'll be easier to connect. So I'm gonna take the other piece and I'm gonna place it like the same. So after that I'm gonna put it on top of this. So I made a hole here on top of this and you could see these two pins here. So it'll be easier to connect. Placing them in the right spot. And then I'm gonna keep it here. So after that I'm gonna So after that I'm gonna take this coil and I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it around uh, with this copper wire. So I'm just going to move it a little bit to the side. So yeah. So after wrapping it around, I'm gonna take the other piece. Okay. Right. Okay, now I'm gonna take the other copper piece. And I'm gonna do the same thing in this side. So I'm going to straighten this copper piece a little bit. Oh, yeah. Ok. 
Okay. So, after that, I'm gonna put the magnet beneath here. So, then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna adjust the position. Then I'm gonna tie it on this, on this copper piece. So I made a swing here with this copper coil and this copper wire. So now I'm gonna connect this with this wires. So I'm gonna take it from the top. Just gonna put it in contact. Okay, after that I'm gonna align it properly and I'm gonna fold this. Okay. So yeah, after that. Okay. After that's done, I'm gonna fold this one after aligning. Okay. So after that I'm gonna take this wire piece and I made a hole here. I'm just gonna push it through. Like that. So after that, I'm gonna take my adapter. So there's two two pieces of wire here. So I'm gonna connect this to this red wire. So after that's done, so the next wire. So, okay, now that's done too, so I'm gonna plug it in. So I'm gonna plug it in and test it out. So I'll just test it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug this in. So I'll just have a port here, so I'll just fix it. Then I'm gonna on it. And I will just check. Let me just check if it's not, it's not moving. So I'm just gonna flip the magnet around. You can see it's moving. 
You can see the swing is moving in the midst of the dango. Hopefully you can see it is starting to move. You can see. I'm not doing anything right now, it's moving on so. You can see I'm just gonna give you a close-up, let me just try for a close-up. Just yeah. That's gonna work, I think. Yep, that's yeah, you can see. Now you can see it's moving by its own, it's gonna hit on this wire here, then it's gonna move it by its own. So now I'm gonna explain how this works. Now I'm gonna explain how this works. So a current carrying conductor produces magnetic field around it. So these wires produces these wires produces magnetic field too because the current is passing through these wires. But the strength of this magnetic field is very less because the wire is thin and not much is produced. So this coil produces more because it has number of turns of this conductor, so it makes it thick and and that's gonna make the magnetic field more stronger. So the, when the circuit is complete here, meaning that the swing is going to touch this wire, that time the magnetic field there will be a magnetic field produced around this coil. So now that, that now that coil acts like a magnet, so which containing north and south poles. So you may remember that I flipped this magnet around because the north and south poles are together. So the bottom was south and uh, and this magnet was north. So the opposite poles attract. Uh, so that it won't ripple. So I'm, I flipped it around because I wanted it to be, I wanted the poles to become same. So it's going to ripple and it's going to go in this motion. So uh, the principles acting here are magnetic, the electromagnetism, and the Lenz Lorentz law. So now I fit this Lego man here. So you can see it's moving pretty fast. So if you guys like this video hit subscribe and leave a like down below. So see you guys in the next video.